Oh, this is Clips VH. We got Exhito Bites, and we got Brett, and we got Loop, and we're gonna go through Fahrenheit today. Yeah. We're not gonna um, go through the tutorial because I know how to play the game, but there's one important thing about the tutorial that I want to let you guys know before we get started. The game's director, uh, David Cage, in the tutorial basically tells you not to think of this as like a regular kind of video game, but to think of it as a kind of like an interactive movie. So, you know, kind of keep that in mind as you as we go through this. It's like an artsy game, except not nearly as shit. Yeah. Things are never quite what they seem. Oh, and the original is French, so you gotta think of it as a French film, too. Okay, that loses some We really some only see me. the outside, <laughs> what it seems to okay. me. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day... World kicks you in the teeth. I think you the only other French film that I believe that I ever saw was is one Lucas called I, I think My it was French. It was called Water Lilies, and it was about it was just like a whole lesbian death. chick flick, maybe. maybe it was supposed but it was, maybe it was it was actually good, but it was also ridiculously depressing and moody, sure. kind of like this game. To be the same. So, yeah. Got it. <clears throat> Ooh, title card. Oh, man. Oh, Alright, so abrupt. here we got a, here we got a shot of New York, right and we're going to see a version of the Freedom Tower that does not exist. New York, capital of the universe. The chess board Destiny chose for the last big game. Well, I mean, it's, it's snowing. I was just another pawn living well, my pawn. Yeah, that much is certain, but this is a ridiculous amount of snow. Night, um, don't worry, that's part of the plot. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. All the snow turns into a snowman and eats you at the end. <laughs> You're close! <laughs> um... <laughs> I oh, don't want to say anything. That crow moves awfully gracefully for having that much snow around it. it... The crow is also all by itself and it's flying really high. Now yeah, it's pretty low. Well, now it's low, yeah. But before it was really Going high. home. Okay, here we go. It's home as a urinal? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're well, pissing that's on my bed shitty sheets, home. buddy. Hey, Literally and figuratively. Homeless. You're right, at least he's not homeless. So is he a peeping Tom? Is that why he's uh, watching this guy pee? That guy still had his belt on. Like all good French movies, we start in the men's room. This guy's taking a really long piss. Maybe also, he kept his belt on the entire time for pissing. I don't know how he did it. Well, I mean, that's how I urinate. I'm impressed. Oh, you just uh, opened the zip? No, oh, no, I, I, just, I just put my hand in the general area, and, and it just works. See, it, this game has very good attention to detail and realism. Is, there, is it me, or is there no water coming out from that faucet? Also, he's not rolling up his sleeves. His sleeves would be so wet. Well, he's just that good at washing his hands. I cannot take... Oh, okay, here, like, we, here we go. I cannot take the way that faces look. It's so bad. <laughs> Does he not see this guy just doing some weird stuff behind him? No, he's paying too much attention to his hands. Dude, Bell, have you ever been to New York? Crazies are everywhere. This is just kind of a norm. <laughs> and then we sacrifice him to Satan. Give him a lot of time to overpower him here. Not even with the slow mo, just like. Well, he, the guy's head's already been like. Look, he's a businessman. He doesn't know how to do any any karate. Oof. <clears throat> oh, that's my mom. Hi, mom. Oh, uh, Bell's mom. Okay. Didn't she's, know your mother was a seven-year-old girl. All right. Oh, uh, she has powers, I think. What, like Benjamin what? Button disease? Who ate backwards? <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> oh, depressed. Okay. Oh. Wow, he went through the stages of grief really quickly. <laughs> Whoa. Well, thank goodness we've now become like every normal American citizen. 
Okay, so as you can tell from that meter, um, the game has like this little thing for your character's mood, and you have to keep them all happy, or else Wait. you can lose. I've, I've got to get like out of here if if Lucas gets super depressed, he he'll commit suicide. Awesome. I'm not even like kidding. It's a legitimate thing that can would, happen. I feel like that's something you should normally have control over. What? If you well, you kind of do. It depends. It, you you kind of do. It depends on your actions. Did you control that left and right thing? Yes. This we finally have control of the game right now. So also, there's there's a few quick time events and such that we have to do in order to do things sometimes. Also, I just want to mention while we're right here, you guys may not know this, and the game does a really piss poor job of telling you outside of panning to that security guard, but you are right now on a time limit. But it's a pretty long time limit. It is a pretty gracious time but limit. But the first time the first time you play it can be pretty short while you're still trying to figure out things to do, so it really kinda gives you just enough time to do everything you'll need to do. I'm bleeding. There's but a lot could, of things in this game like that though, so knife. Both Couldn't you just walk out here, too. like, looking like that and end the game? Yeah. I don't see water. Oh, I hear water. I yeah. saw water. Oh, I see water. Fahrenheit and the quest for whether or not the water is actually real. <laughs> <laughs> right, fuck, right? It's all Alright, so here's the knife, so now we have to hide the knife. I've gotta get rid of it. You know, you have pockets. Well, there's a cop right there, so he might Just, want to frisk uh, make us. it go down the drain. I know. I'll dispose of this knife in that guy's body. Perfect. All right. So now you, that we're let, let's, go, let's, go let's let's go to this throw it away. Let's let's go to this condom machine. And uh, if we if we uh, smack it a bit, <laughs> this is <laughs> gameplay. <laughs> and and now we we get a quarter that fell out because we smacked the condom oh, machine. I think a condom would have come in more right, so we could So we can do a couple things with this coin. We can call somebody at the payphone for help or whatever. Or we can go over to this jukebox over here and play some tunes. And I'm, I'm going to go over to the jukebox what and play some tunes. What an obvious choice. Please tell me that this is actually the good path. Like, this is the better thing to do than the payphone. Well, I'm, I, I am going for the uh, good ending here. So everything I'm doing, working towards that. See, so Lucas do we just play... killed a man in the bathroom, but he gets less stressed that he put the jukebox on. Now he's calmed down a bit. He's gonna get less stressed when he drinks and eats, too, so... So then, do we play the jukebox and then we go and ask the officer oh, for man, a dance? Oh, man, he's tense. Yes. Okay. Oh, this intense eating. Oh, man, look at that. It's going up. Fahrenheit Nobody the quest for... Nobody's even eating! Fahrenheit the quest for whether or not there's actually food on his fork. <laughs> this is the most, like... He just comes out of the bathroom, jacket entirely on, and he's just picking up the fork and putting it back down for each and every single bite. Alright, so that, this is a plot point. Lucas has coffee on his table, but he doesn't drink coffee. Just like you. But I don't have coffee at my table when I don't drink coffee. That's important, remember that. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna, take a, I'm gonna take another sip of our drink. That we hate? Or is no, that's not the other one. That's, that's, oh, that's yeah. not the coffee. Got it. It's confused by the cups. Yeah, it doesn't even give us the option to drink the coffee. And now we're going to pay for our meal. Here we go. So, from what I remember... And I'm going to take another bite. <laughs> <laughs> from what I remember, you can actually... There's several ways right here where you could have failed it. Like, you could have just walked out, the cop would have noticed you walking out fast and you would have failed because he would have found everything. Or you could have not paid for your meal, ran out, and the cop would have noticed something was wrong. This neighborhood before mm -hmm. the police get here. There's a couple ways to leave, too. If you go down that way, I just looked on the camera, you can leave through a subway, but I'm going to leave through the taxi instead. Okay. And there's a reason I'm doing that. So I'll, I'll bring it up later. <clears throat> ah, good. We're back to our old neutrality. If you have, if you're really tense, does he just say anywhere but here? Um, no, because he still wants to go home. Well, Why does he need clean that part of the blood up? Well, Lucas isn't very good at cleaning, is the thing. When you see his apartment later, you'll you'll see what I mean. Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm 
and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. Wow, this is shitty. That waitress is probably like in her 14th hour of work and was ready to go home after the cop left. Or she could have just started her shit. Dog's dying. That's it. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? He has big lips. Somebody gets murdered every day in New York. They all have big lips. Especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> yeah, You're man. The boss, Carla. Be considerate. Alright, so these are two detectives, Carla and uh, Tyler. The force, I've seen and basically now we're going to play as them because they're the detectives in charge of investigating the crime scene we left behind. So... What about so the cop by the jukebox? Something else. Um, he's Who in there. About him? He's in there. He he's kind of like a recurring character, but he's not like a main character we play as. Yeah, he's just a meter maid. Yeah. She looks happy. So essentially, we we are as the player working against ourselves, and there's blood there, but she can't investigate it yet because she doesn't know to do that yet. Evening, Inspector. I guess. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Mark. She's smiling. So, what happened? Yeah. Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. Do we have a suspect? A client yeah, left just me. before I found the body. Which table was the suspect sitting at? Oh, he was sitting at that table over there. What were you doing here? Were you on duty? I wasn't. I just happened to be here when the murder happened. I like to come by here after work. Kate's Coffee is the best in the East End. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I wanna make sure she gets home okay. So you can bank her? <laughs> wow. Jesus. A murder <laughs> just happened. Well, what Holy the crap. Fuck? Oh, you play as him too? Yes, yeah, so you can switch between Tyler and Carla. Who are you going to be playing mostly as? Um, I'm going to try and switch back and forth between the two of them. You know, to kind of even it out a bit. Okay. Who do you like more? Honestly, I like Tyler. He's, he's I like cool. his walk cycle. Yeah. yeah. His walk is awesome. The only the only unfortunate thing about him is that he seems to be trapped in the 70s, but you know what? That that just gives him more charm for me. Does everyone in this town have a severe case of anxiety? <laughs> well, he's up in the middle of the night and he doesn't want to be up in the middle of the night. That would make me kind of tiny bit stressed out a little bit. I don't want to be up at night. But he has no signs of stress whatsoever. None of them do! Yeah, don't make me laugh, Garrett. My lips are jacked. All right, so we had to do things that make Tyler happy. So we had so, to we had to shoot the breeze with our coworkers, and now we're gonna go to the payphone, and we're gonna call Tyler's girlfriend because he's a fucking sweetheart like that. Oh, Tyler. Hi, girlfriend. I just have to bang this waitress, and then Sweet. I'll be home. Did you already fall back asleep? I won't be long, baby. Go back to sleep. I'll be there when you wake up. Catch you later. You just got to. You just got assigned a homicide. There's no way you're coming home soon. Don't lie like that, Tyler. <laughs> you had my trust before, but now you're just breaking. Yeah, I know, man. Come Let's on. Let's go back to Carla. At least she doesn't have things to weigh her down, like boyfriends and penises. <laughs> Kate. So we're we're gonna I'm question Carla the waitress. Lindsay. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? So I noticed that I there like was her, a I timer think. on the oh, questions before. Can you just let the questions all fly by and she just says nothing throughout the whole thing? <laughs> well, there's a couple different icons at the end when of the timer. If there's like some kind of like red X over the dialogue thing, then it'll just stop. And that's happened. That that can happen. If it doesn't have that, and it just looks like like a little bubble with three dots in it. I think it just automatically picks what dialogue option to go with. Came every Monday. He always ordered the same thing and I left a nice tip. Could anyone else have come in? No, I don't think so. 
you can only get in the front door. If somebody else had come in, I would have seen them. What was he like, Kate? Do you think you could describe him for me? I only saw him for a few seconds. I guess he was about average height, fairly young. That's all I can remember. Did you get the impression that John and the suspect knew each other? No. I don't think they did know each other. The man had already been here a while when John came in. They didn't talk to each other. No, I'm, I'm almost certain that John didn't know him. Do you know whether the victim had any enemies? Anybody that might want to kill him? John was just a nice, normal guy. I can't see why anybody would want to kill him. I'd like to pee in his pants a bit, but aside from that, words, totally normal. Sound of a struggle or yelling? No, I didn't notice anything. Damn it, Kate, you are so what fucking useful. The <laughs> Did you notice anything unusual? No. It was just a night like any other. Can you tell me what you saw? There weren't that many people tonight. It's usually pretty calm during the week. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh my god. Look at that chopped and cheer up. Kate, mm. try to pull yourself together. You are our main witness, so I'm really gonna need your help. I want her to say, like, I'm carrying his baby, and then the police soap. officer over there gets mad because they were in a relationship, and this just devolves John into a soap. And with the rest of the man must have um, and then he must have snuck out after You're close. Not with that him. plot line, but you're close. What happened next? Martin went to the restroom, and that's when he found John. John. Did you happen to notice anything strange about the suspect's behavior before he went into the restroom? No. You, wait. Yes. I remember something. I came back at one point just to check whether he needed anything. He didn't answer me. He just stared straight ahead. It was weird. I didn't push him. I oh, maybe that's... this guy is a little crazy. God. If I had only known. Okay, remember that, because that's important, too. The suspect? So if we had talked to her, would she have remembered us? Perfect. What? Do you think that you could he just said... <laughs> what? She'll never forget that face, but the only description she could give was fairly yeah. young and average height? I'll do whatever you think I can to help catch him. Kate killed him. Thank you. She's very fucking lying. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you find a bastard who did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. I promise you. See, she's insinuating murder. Yeah. This is where Martin goes into the bathroom where she's and finds the body. But she's at the edge of her seat. She's excited about this. Oh yes. God, was Bell right? Yep, Bell was right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they're just no, they're just friends, and it had to be on her lower hip. Good night. NYPD. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. All right, so we're gonna go go to the bathroom. Yep, because we have to investigate the murder scene. Oh, I just just kind of wanted to go to the bathroom. Wait, they Sorry, don't bring, get out like, of here. They don't fucking bring forensics or anything in here. They've got no gloves. There's no. Uh, they're not taking any pictures. That really she's got gloves. The killer must have used it to clean up the mess. Okay, so there's certain things that Carla can check, but that things that she can't check, and there's certain things that Tyler can check, and things that he can't check. Because, like... Like the condom they, machine. Because they think differently is the thing. They're two different cops and they have... Yeah. Okay. They have this wacky dynamic. So it's like good cop, bad cop, except they're both kind of wacko. It's like good cop, bad cop, except they're both kind of bad at being cops. Strange, the light in this stall actually works. <laughs> and the light in this one... <laughs> the door doesn't even open. Yeah, I can't open it for some reason. <laughs> She can't check the trash can. You need Tyler to do that. Can she check the condoms? <laughs> now, the reason we need Tyler well, so to check the trash can is because that's one of the places that Lucas can hide the knife. He'll hide it in three different places. Just oh, do you get to choose? or? Doing, no. I'm checking for clues. I, think it, I think it's at random, but there's three different places you can find the knife. One of them is in the trash can. The other one is in the toilet with the working light. And then another one is in a little... Um, 
a little space in the toilet that Lucas was sitting in before. Okay, I know enough about this game to know that there's something you can do with Tyler in here that you can't do with Carla, and I hope you do it. Um... If, if it doesn't happen... Oh, please. Yeah! <laughs> Tyler? We're just gonna relieve ourselves a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It's been a rough no. night. This is a crime scene. Those this eyebrows. She ha she has like this um this kind of weird disease. She has to move her eyebrows whenever she speaks. Wow, that she reminds me 10. of a marionette. So now all of a sudden Carla cares about preserving the evidence? <laughs> how do you see that? Yeah, how did you see that? Man, you have some Ty good eyes. Tyler, uh, Carl's going to mention this later, but Tyler grew up with the gangs in the Bronx, so he can tell if a man's got money on him just by looking at him. He doesn't need to check him. That's an impressive <laughs> skill. Why is there blood here? This isn't the women's it's restroom. Uh... Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Maybe it it's... belongs to the victim. Not I like how that made her mildly yeah, relaxed know. finding blood. I know for sure. He had a kidney disease. Well, she's a detective, so the more evidence she finds, uh... A table knife covered in blood. Obviously the blood. I would not be relaxed finding this. Silverware to stab his victim? <laughs> Well, no, because because figuring out the evidence is what's making her feel better about herself. Tyler, there's a knife hidden here. It might be the murder weapon. This is like some kind of self-affirmation for Should Carla and Tyler and while they investigate. Play. Look, okay. on his body, there's bite marks. Oh, thank God, it's cannibal. <laughs> but the condoms haven't been taken. He's not a rapist. Oh, this is stressing me out. If the knife was in the toilet, it wouldn't flush, it would make a weird noise, and then Tyler would just look at the back of it. Why would he try flushing the toilet instead of checking it, though? I told you, they're not very good at being cops. Let's just destroy all the evidence, quickly. Do you guys remember when I said, why doesn't he just put it in his pocket? This game would be over. Hey, Garrett, they wouldn't have any leads, they'd be like, well, fuck, we don't know. Things. Don't worry, I wrote it all down on this paper, so you... No, you didn't. I had a feeling you were taking Carl a piss the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he wrote with. <laughs> oh, I'm impressed then. Yeah. God is very walk articulate. Is beautiful. Right? Dude, Tyler's Season's walk cycle the best. Can you verify all of the calls that came through this phone tonight? You got it, Carla. Good thing you didn't make that call. Tyler, I'm gonna take a look outside. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna go outside alone. Then we're gonna talk to me. the homeless bum. Homeless bum is the one who committed the murder. No, he's the Good one who witnessed evening, the sir. murder. Whoa! <laughs> hey, uh, babe. <laughs> well, she's into it. <laughs> the eyebrows. My say name all. is Carla Valenti, and you? What's your name? My name. <laughs> Schmitty Werbin Jägerman Jensen. I used to be number one, you know. Oh, Bogart, yes. My friends call me Bogart. This game has an oddly high amount of sharp edges. The polygons are kind of weird. 2005. That doesn't excuse the fact that they're kind of weird. Someone was killed in that restaurant tonight. Did you happen to see anything or anyone unusual? Oh, the original Mario is 8-bit, 16-bit. It was made in 1983, but that's no excuse for it to be 18-bit, 16-bit. Okay, I'm gonna go. No, it's not. They should have been 3D modeled by then. Yeah, they had it, 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 it should. The original Mario Brothers should have looked like Mario Galaxy. At least she's normal. Speaking to the hobo made her tense. I saw someone. Oh wait, he saw someone. I can't look at her eyes and take her seriously. Nobody remembers it, but I saw him. I saw him come out the back door. Oh, it was evil. The devil himself. What did he look like? Can you describe him? Uh, who? Uh, who? You drink too much, baby. You, you, you talking nonsense. <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> Remember, this is important too because we didn't walk out the back door. 
So God, he's that... just he's just a crazy old. So he's dude. either crazy or he saw something that we don't know about. That guy is like super sleepy Brett the drunk bum. <laughs> Hey, there's a taxi. All right, so we can walk towards the taxi, and that should trigger Carla to think, okay, we need to check taxi destinations, but for some reason that's not happening. The fuck game, come on. Looks like we'll just have to go across the street and hail it down. That's the only way these things listen to you. You know what? Fuck it. We're just going to ignore the taxi. Screw the taxi. All right, can't do it. Taxi. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Carla can only think properly when jogging away from the thing she's thinking about. And now we can investigate the blood, because we know to do that. Killer is wounded. Now, the back door is locked. You can't get in from the outside. And if we tried to use the back door, Talent Carla would have gotten sad. Almost a year. He grew up Why? In the in the Bronx before he because it's cold outside. The These people are on a very, like, very... <laughs> Thin emotional He's ice. He's so happy. <laughs> Did you find anything, Tyler? Well, that I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. Keep up the good work, Tyler. Damn it, Tyler! You are such a good fucking detective. You ready Thank to go, goodness, Tyler? These guys, the people who are supposed to, to solve this guy's murder. Yeah. Sure? We can take another look around if you want. Goodness, these are the nah, man, I saw everything I need. We can look around, get our okay. fingerprints on the crime scene some more. To get back to the car. You want to go I'm pee in the car. snow on that blood stain? I'm gonna pee on, on that blood stain. What about on that hobo? <laughs> That's fucked up. Look, I can draw a cherry pie. Now we go in the car to leave. Now we could have investigated the table that Lucas was sitting at, but I kind of forgot to do that. There's a book that we could pick up, and we can notice that he barely touched his food, even though we saw him eat, like, 12 bites. It was well, no, he, he just put the fork up to his mouth. He didn't actually get any food on the fork. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, you're right, you're right. He nibbled at the fork five times, I remember The crow that. saw everything. Yes, the crow saw everything. Maybe the crow is the man. The homeless man. Maybe the crow's the devil. Maybe the crow's the devil. Maybe this. Maybe the crow has nothing to do with it. Maybe the homeless man's just crazy. Maybe our main character is just a crazy psychopath who stabs somebody in the bathroom, and Tyler is a horrible ass cop. They're both and terrible then cops. That end scene. They're both what not the that great that? at cops. That end scene was something else. That that was a weird thing happening, and we'll we'll find out more about that in uh, yeah. the next video. I'm thoroughly oh. intrigued. Or the video after the next video. You're, you're what? You're thoroughly what, Brett? I'm thoroughly intrigued. I mean, really? we make f we we really make make fun of any game we we play through. We just kind of rag on it the entire time. But it does uh -huh. seem like a really interesting concept. The whole thing about you playing, trying to solve your own murder. Dude, case. I I legitimately love this game. I really like it. I enjoy it a lot. I think it's good too. But there are some parts that are not as good as they could be, and me and Will know exactly what parts they are, and you people well, know exactly what I parts used... they are. I used to I used to not like them so much, but now I kind of like them, but just not for the right reasons. Well, you rationalized them. Well, I, I used to rationalize them, and that's why I didn't like them, but now I don't bother rationalizing it. I just go with the flow, and it's just fucking amazing. <laughs> um, but you guys will see what we're talking about later, Exceda Bites and Brett. It's yeah, so I guess we're on to the next video. And I'm gonna be... Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna be using your name in every description so that it shows up when people search for you. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Right on those Exhedo balls. <laughs> that's it. It's over. I'm yeah, that's, stopping the recording. Don't forget to rub the rubber ducky. Just fucking get out. <laughs> no. No. I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw paper airplanes in your house now, Brett. Wait, in or into my house? <laughs> into your house. I'd be impressed.